This is a real fun study. Now keep in mind, the reason it's fun is because it's not a study conducted over two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, drinking a certain beverage two or three times a day and measuring those results on a daily basis per se. This right here that you see, the improvement in photopic visual acuity, daylight, is a result after drinking just one glass of milk with two and a half grams of cocoa, and that is it. The outcome is as follows. Now keep in mind, we want to consider this a pilot study, but the improvements of visual acuity after basically drinking one glass of milk with two and a half grams of cocoa was just a statistically significant, wonderful outcome. Now you may think, well, what if you have a driving test? What if you go into a sporting event or participate in a sporting event? Or even, for example, go into lecture or lecture hall where you're sitting all the way in the back of basically the auditorium. These are where the improvements were basically in uh, visual acuity, especially in normal light conditions, can yield you in a tremendous advantage. And that's what makes this study so pertinent and wonderful at the same time. To proceed as follows. Eating 2.5 grams of pure natural cocoa powder serves to improve visual acuity in healthy young adults and in daylight. In order to conduct the study, the volunteers drank A, again, utilizing the word singular, A, not a glass of milk, three times a day, just one, a glass of milk with cocoa, berries, or just milk, which the milk is just to control, on three separate visits to provide an intervening washout period Time to eliminate the traces of each food stuff, the levels of polyphenols in urine were then measured after three hours. To proceed forward. To measure visual acuity, letter charts were placed four meters from the individuals in different lighting conditions, one high photopic, one low. Adaption to darkness employed a basically a psychophysical method measuring the sensitivity recovery dynamics subsequent to the whitening of the retinal photopigments. But again, in this case, no statistical significance in low light conditions, but albeit we're just talking one glass of milk with two and a half grams of cocoa. To proceed, another important fact that should be taken into consideration when interpreting our results of the fact, quoting, that we decided to use a very low amount, low amounts of flavanols and anthocyanins in our intervention in order to use amounts of cocoa or red berry powder that were realistic from a practical point of view and feasible in a daily balanced diet. Now, this is the interesting aspect in reference to the improvement of that visual acuity. The researchers attributed the positive effects on photopic visual acuity to improved attention or processing of visual, visual, visual information thanks to the flavonoids or theobromine, a group of alkaloids which stimulate the central nervous system and are found in cocoa, similar to caffeine and in coffee. Now, what we're going to do here is I want to break and go to the full study and give you the example of the content or composition of each one of the elements utilized in this study uh, in reference to improving visual acuity in normal lighting conditions. Now, the one interesting aspect you have to look at is, for example, the theobromine towards the bottom there is a unique component of those three, the control, the red berry powder, and so on and so forth. So basically, without no pun intended, that uh, led the researchers to focus on the theobromine itself. Now, that's really it for the study. Uh, pilot study, really easy to do, utilize. Again, serves an incredible, incredible uh, practicality in utilization for anybody through anything throughout the day where they have to improve visual acuity rapidly. In this case, if they can use or drink milk or whatever the beverage is. I don't know. But again, I want to stick with the, the experiment protocols. Do the experiment protocols. Two and a half grams of cocoa. You see the composition. Add it to milk. Drank. And then a short period afterwards. Improvements in the visual processing or acuity, so to say. And voila, the outcome. Simple, clean, precise. And does not require a tremendous amount of effort in improving that visual acuity for the moment. Again, hope you find this information use real short study, but again, simple, pertinent, and I'm certain that anytime you're in the situation where you have to have uh, 
your vision being at the top of your game, or the visual acuity, I should say, or attention processing, I guarantee you'll be thinking of Coco at that point in time. And if this pilot study uh, is validated in larger groups, wow, what an incredible, incredible tool to utilize from everything, from driving, flying, your pilot, passenger, whatever, student, you name it. Coco reigns supreme, at least when drinking by itself, just once, two and a half grams with a glass of milk. Again, gratitude, thank you. Gratitude to the researchers and always, always humbled by your participation and watching this channel. And I look forward to see you all once again next week. We're all signing off. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye.